Um, actually, I didn't take that many courses because of the compulsory business project we had um, during the semester. So beside the business project, I took two courses. Uh, one was called Global Management Practice. Um, it's also a comp compulsory course um, that uh, yeah, deep dives into different management practices all around the world. And on the other hand, I had human capital in a global world. So rather a personal management HR course that deals with uh, how to how to guide, how to um, lead uh, people in an organization. Um, yeah, those were two courses, and beside that, like I said before, the business project um, that I actually liked was one of the best experiences to have like this business project to really work together with a company here in Brazil um, and to get an insight not just in the um, educational um, part but also like in the professional part here in Tampa. One difference for sure is the workload. Um, I think here, um, especially in the master degree, I realized while being here that many Brazilian students actually work beside their studies. So the workload can be as high as in Zagan probably. Um, it doesn't mean they're less interesting or more interesting, but the workload probably is less. Um, and, pro and also like in those two courses that I have uh, had, was it like a little bit freer like in terms of, of, of content. So we really had the broad content. We were visiting companies, we were discussing also um, the topic in broader sense, not really specific about theories or theoretical frameworks that we studied, but it was rather like more about discussions and, and getting an insight into the Brazilian environment, which I, what I really liked. I really like living in Sao Paulo, first of all. Um, actually, I didn't expect uh, Sao Paulo to be such a livable city, because before you always hear like Sao Paulo is a concrete jungle, it's huge, uh, a lot of traffic. Of course, there, are, there is a lot of traffic and it is a huge city with a lot of distances uh, if you travel from A to B, but I never felt like too overwhelmed by such a big city because, because of the cool neighborhoods, because we're divided into different neighborhoods where you can find anything that you want. So I really liked living here. Quite an obvious challenge, but the language, because I came here to Brazil without speaking Portuguese. I tried to learn a little bit on a, on a mobile phone, like on an application. But in the end, it was a challenge in the beginning because I realized like they really don't speak English to, to say like easy. Uh, they not even a few words sometimes, so it's really sometimes a challenge to navigate yourself through the through the city. Um, but after a few weeks, um, it, it's not a really a problem anymore, and you get more comfortable trying to speak Portuguese, which is also like one of the biggest um, positive parts of my experience here that I tried to engage in a new language and learn learn Portuguese uh, a little bit. Perhaps two things, like one um, in the beginning of the semester, really, really like the first week when we arrived. We had the chance to visit uh, two local favelas in the Sao Paulo region. Um, it was super interesting because before you always hear about favela, sometimes also about how dangerous favelas are in Brazil in general. But then you really have the chance to, to interact or at least like to see a favela and interact with the problems there and get to know the problems there. That was really one of the most impressive parts. And then on the other hand, of course, like seeing this beautiful country um, I just traveled to the north um, uh, recently, and it's so nice to see like how different this huge uh, country is from the north to the south, and to appreciate the differences, also like in language, in people, in uh, in food, in circumstances. I really like to to that yeah, was one of my the best one of the best experiences, of course, while doing the change here to travel and see this beautiful country.